Well, hello, gang. Jeff from G's Gear with another multi stringed instrument. What have we here? This is really sweet. <laughs> this is really sweet. This is a National Triolian Resonator Mandolin made somewhere between 1929 and 1930. And it is in unbelievably, unbelievably wonderful condition. It is like brand new. A little bit better than new, maybe. The uh, tuners are an upgrade. They're Grover Stay Tights, and they hold a tune really well. But everything beyond that is absolutely stock. It's got the original mandolin case, the chipboard case for it. This is just a beautiful thing. You don't hear too many resonator mandolins, so it's a very different kind of sound. It's big, and it's bright. Very cool. These are uh, American-made, of course. Uh, the national company, famous for res national resonator guitars, national steel guitars. The neck on this is a little bit longer. Uh, the scale, I should say. It's a 15-inch scale. And so the tuning is slightly different. It's tuned at an... Let me see if I remember it right. I have it written down, so let's see what I've written. E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. E... B, F sharp, C sharp, which if you put a capo at the third fret, brings you back to your standard mandolin tuning. But it's a little bit longer scale, might be a little more comfortable for folks like myself who have uh, are used to guitars and have fat fingers. Uh, a little more comfortable to play, a little bit deeper in sound, but it's just the sweetest darn thing. I love these things. <laughs> I haven't got room where I'd keep all this stuff. But it's just, it's beautiful with the, the sunburst finish, brown burst, rust burst. I don't know what you want to call this thing. But it's perfect. It's absolutely flawless. The action's quick and comfortable. And uh, neck is dead straight. Uh, the neck is wooden, of course. Uh, but the, the body is, I think, aluminum on these. Single resonator and cone. The cone is an, is enormous, so you get a lot of sound out of it. If I, I wish you knew how to play the mandolin better. sustain in the world this really it's going to cut through if you're if you're playing in a situation where you're playing mandolin uh, you're playing live you're playing in a band setting maybe an acoustic setting and you're getting drowned out by other instruments maybe the banjo or the guitar or the upright bass is, is drowning you out no no longer this thing's going to cut right through that and the sound is at while it's really bright in, and high in pitch, it's also warm. It doesn't have a, a lot of uh, shrillness to it. I do not play mandolin, <laughs> so you're getting a you're getting kind of a weird uh, crash course in it. But I hope you get a chance get the the sense of what this sounds like. Anyhow, there it is. National Triolian Mandolin, 1929 to 1930, in minty kind of or near minty shape. There is, there's a nick. There is a fleck out of the paint right there. It's not mint, but this is about as close to near mint as you're going to get. Close to mint as you're going to get. G's Gear, National Triolian. I don't think it's going to be here too much longer. We'll see you soon.